You know what the best way to solve disappointment is? What is that? Success. The reality is, is this. There was a couple themes in there that excited me. A, I have a very big thesis that if you are a Jordan and LeBron fan, you also highly are likely to be lazy, which you admitted in there, which excites the shit out of me. I think you need to fall in love with the process of the grind versus the anxiousness of getting there. Like the celebrating is not the fun part. The process of getting there is. You don't love the process. I'm about to fuck with everybody's heads really quick here. The reason I love people who stick with their town's teams is the journey to finally get good is so much more intoxicating than being good. The Mm -hmm. reality is, is you've got to fall in love with the shit. The, The people who never get lazy sometimes are obsessed with the process of what they're up to. I have never, ever gotten lazy sometimes because I've been addicted to everything I've done post school. I got lazy all the time in school because I hated it. So you get two major decisions, you know this. As children of immigrants, we get two major decisions, who we love and what we choose to do. I'll say that again, who we love, i.e. who you marry, that's a big deal in our community, and what you do. At 18, the majority of my American friends, yes. you're free to do whatever. You're literally forced I to move see. out of the house. I understand. So those two right. choices I are I yours. I understand, Okay. I understand. We are property of our fathers. I am property of Najmi Minhaj. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was a big fight to be right. like, this is who I'm marrying and this is what I'm choosing to do. It was a fight because immigrant parents are like, no, 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 I own you. What the fuck are you talking about? You're choosing. I own you, so right. you do what I want. I totally so understand. this is my thing. Your two big battles are those two ba- battles. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about all that stuff. You have to do those two things on your own terms and you got to air mattress it if you really love it. Otherwise, you're a fair weather film fan. That's the way it's going to... Or, or actually, by the way, or it might be like that wasn't your destiny. That what you wasn't really what you wanted to do anyways but don't get into some risk that you don't want to do and then and don't don't um pursue engineering or whatever because they're forcing you to make all those decisions on your own terms neither are better or worse you know what the best way to solve disappointment is what is that success right like i have a funny thing yeah so like but here's the funny part you're in the first quarter and you think the game's over. It was not fun for me every time my parents disagreed. I live the same life. Like, it's the same game, just a different skin tone. I'm just, like, I get it, but the reality is, is like, fuck you, dad. Like, that's real. Now, I highly recommend you say, dad, I love you with all my heart, and I know for fact, everything coming out of your mouth is what you want for me, and it's how you see it. Right. But pops, you did your shit. Let me do mine. Let's post game this in 30 years, then we can judge. You can literally That's win true. at 42 and then be like, told you. You either go to the wedding, and grandma and, and grand aunt and great aunt are shitting on you, yeah. and you either hear that and say, I can't wait to stick it down your fucking throat in 2029, or you say, woe is me, this blows. I like the first one. And I think okay. it's an interesting debate of how they're actually the same yeah. and how you train yourself to think is an interesting thing. 28's a funny year to me. 27, 28, tw- like I'm reading a lot of content. This 28, 27, 29, like, and 30, 30, 30, like this kind of interesting age group where like people make this funny switch when they turn 27 and think they're old when they're obnoxiously young. Right. And I'm fascinated about this. You want to know where song. that comes from? Sure. So at 18, you leave. You have independence. From 18 to 30, really, right around 30, people are getting married and having yeah. kids. Yeah. So you're entering that window yeah, of your life it. of like, what am I doing? Yeah, I get it. No, no, no. So right. the, the seeds that I planted, have they manifested themselves? I get it. This is just my advice for artists. The thing with artists is you do this the rest of your life. 100%. That's the crazy part. Like Dick but, Gregory was doing comedy until he died. In his 80s. That's right. That's the game. Same with filmmakers. Same Film- with entrepreneurs. Yeah. It's why I feel bad for athletes. Right, right, right. I used to think it was the best. Right. Like but James my- Harden's gonna be done at 36 forever. That's the true. thing he was meant I to mean, do. I mean, I mean- what we don't talk about, go show me all the brown kids, all the Russian kids that are 60 and 80 with their parents. 
I know the 60 and 80 year old relationships, they're broken because the six year old followed the 80 year old and they've had 35 years of shit relationship right. because they didn't marry that girl, right? Right, right, right. Because yeah, they yeah. didn't try that thing. Right. And so I think the short term pain of a band aid rip yeah, yeah. versus cancer yeah. that happens in the back half of every one of these people's lives is an important conversation that isn't being debated enough.